To find the oxidation number for each element here in NaOCl, this is sodium hypochlorite, we'll use these general rules here. The first thing we should note is that this is a neutral compound. There's no minus or plus after it, so it's a neutral compound. In a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers will add up to zero, so that's important. For group one elements, sodium, that's in group one, group one elements will have a plus one oxidation number. Oxygen, if we look at oxygen here, it's always minus two with a few exceptions. So this is minus two. And then the chlorine, we're gonna have to figure that out because we can see chlorine that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. It's usually minus one, except when it's bonded to an oxygen or a fluorine. And this chlorine here is bonded to an oxygen. So we need to figure it out. Let's just call this X. We don't know what that is. So all of these numbers are gonna add up to zero because it's a neutral compound. So we can say one, minus two plus x, that equals zero. So minus one plus x equals zero, x equals a positive one. So the oxidation state, the oxidation number for Cl in NaOCl is going to be plus one, a positive one. All these numbers, of course, they add up to zero and that's it. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for each element in NaOCl. Thanks for watching.